so we have seen uh, what is a continuous time and uh, then we went to understand what is a discrete time right and uh, as uh, i had told you that uh, i tried to spend as uh, much time as possible on this concept because it is a little bit uh, tricky one uh, then i had told you that how we go from the analog to digital so uh, the block diagram i had explained to you and uh, this i had explained to you is that uh, from the perspective that you don't get confused between the there are few terminology we saw continuous time discrete time right and a digital signal okay so these two signal that is continuous time and uh, discrete time these are actually analog signal okay and why we, it is analog signal because we haven't represented a signal in ones and the zeros right and therefore ct and the dt are analog signal and once we convert a signals in terms of ones and the zeros it becomes a digital signal okay uh, in the very simplest uh, way i can tell you is that if i convert a signal in ones and the zeros it becomes a digital signal okay and in complex way if i have to tell you is that if i discretize ties on this axis that is y axis then it becomes a digital signal but uh, let's uh, stick with this thing is that if i convert a signal in ones and the zeros it becomes a digital signal okay and uh, uh, very important thing to uh, know uh, remember i am repeating again is that continuous time and uh, uh, discrete time signal are analog signal okay uh, the first example first waveform which we have is actually example of continuous time whereas the second example is uh, example of uh, the second waveform is of example of discrete time okay so these two signals uh, this are the signals uh, two types of signals which we are going to extensively going to use in our signals and systems okay whereas uh, uh, digital signal we will be dealing with uh, when once you go to the next year and when you study digital signal processing okay then we went to the representation of signal first um, was uh, this one that is uh, writing and signal in the equation form this is the general form that is a sign of t understand this this is the continuous time right in the discrete time if i have to represent this what i'll do is that x of n is equal to a of sin of n okay in fact instead of n omega n i write uh, omega actually represent a frequency okay but simplicity you remember that this is the representation of a signal okay this is continuous time and this is discrete time the second representation time which we saw was table uh, just by putting the values of n we found out the values of x of n and once i write that in the table it is a uh, tabular form afterwards we saw that the sequence okay the same signal i had taken this which i had represented in the form of table like this okay here i had told you that value of n can be in the minus also okay so this signal will be extending in the negative direction also right so i have to represent from where my signal is starting or where is the actually the n is equal to 0 so what i do is that i represent with the arrow okay and write n is equal to 0 over here i can skip this because it is implied if i am putting that arrow that means it is n is equal to 0 okay so from here is the 
origin this is origin so just by representing an arrow i can tell you where is the origin or where is the n is equal to 0 but this is the standard practice whenever i write a sequence i put n is equal to 0 and i put a arrow okay <coughs> and i tell you uh, tell that tell a person that this is a origin okay and uh, just i had shown you how i can plot this and that was the last representation of signal that is a graphical representation okay then we went for the different types of signal right so first i had simply what i did is that uh, instead of going to uh, from basic to uh, uh, the complex one i had taken the example of the signal which we had seen already right this one that is e raised to minus 0 0.2 n i put the pl uh, values of uh, n and i plot, plot the uh, x of n i had uh, represented that this is what the signal will look like that is exponentially decreasing right obviously if a signal is exponentially decreasing or decaying signal there can be exponentially increasing signal obviously right so it will be something right e raised to say minus uh, 2n okay and this was e raised to e raised to minus 0.2n okay so understand this if this if i write as in general if i write as a n the exponential decreasing will be if a's value is less than 1 and it will be increasing if a's value is greater than 1 ok value of a will be uh, if it is greater than 1 it will be decreasing if it is less than 1 it is increasing then I had shown you that constant one um, I had told you yesterday that there is a word different name for this signal that I will tell you I will I'm going to introduce you today okay so what exactly it means okay and uh, the the last the fourth one uh, I had told you that this is a sine wave okay so I had uh, uh, represented all this signal in discrete time <coughs> okay so if there is any question uh, regarding what we had seen yesterday uh, you can ask me otherwise we will be starting with the today's agenda was there any question what we saw yesterday uh, i'm asking you this question uh, with the belief that uh, you had just brushed through what we had seen yesterday after our lecture any question Uh, again I am telling you um, I know that uh, you might be getting tempted to start a lecture and keep the mobile aside but understand one thing is that that temptation is very dangerous uh, because uh, the signal sense system creates a base for many many subjects especially if you are willing to or if you are dreaming to go to the machine learning and the data sciences which is which is the very um, important domain today there signal sense system actually plays very important role so do not uh, succumb to that temptation understand this okay so let me start with uh, today's agenda uh, today's uh, today we are going to see the types of signal okay so the first signal which we are going to see is impulse signal i believe that my spelling is correct
okay so <coughs> the impulse signal uh, can anyone tell me what you mean by uh, impulse you can put a message in the chat box also uh, meaning of impulse what you understand by when i say that uh, impulse sir it is a product of force and time force and time okay i have not i see okay understand this um, you know uh, i believe in teaching or learning uh, with day to day examples okay i am not saying mayur uh, mayuri that you are wrong or you are right understand this uh, i want you people to relate with the day to day examples okay apart from the technical terms uh, remove the technical terms from um, uh, uh, explanation okay and tell me what is the impulse i uh, we say na that person that particular person is impulsive what does it mean can you know tell me utsa utsa type sir hmm utsa ekdam in marathi we are at the moment moment in the moment it's they do something right that person do something oh. uh, shubham in marathi he said utsah right uh, so aprena had said in the moment they do something right uh, before that they are dormant or they are not doing anything after doing something they are not doing anything right but for that moment that particular moment they are they, they will do something that we will not expect am i right that is impulsive person right so if a signal if i say that it is impulsive okay so before time it will not do anything so in the minus this is my negative and this is positive that is uh, might be minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 in this they will not do anything as soon as it will be zero they will actually give some amplitude and after that what they will do is that they will not do anything yes any question uh, someone is riya any question okay thank you riya okay so just for that moment they will give an amplitude before that moment they will not have any um, i hope my screen is visible to you it is visible okay so before that time they are not doing anything after that particular moment they will not do anything but just for that moment they will give an amplitude i hope i am clear okay so this is called as impulsive behavior uh, right and this signal is called as impulse signal okay understand this this i had plotted uh, for continuous time okay so even for uh, zero point minus zero point zero one they will be zero and after that also they will be zero so if i have to uh express this how i can express is x of t will be 1 for t is equal to 0 and it will be 0 elsewhere right so at uh, it will have a value 1 so by default what i assuming is that just let me change the uh, ink color okay so this is the y axis and this is x axis this is y axis is uh, representing amplitude okay so for y axis uh so this is actually the one okay this is one so it is getting an amplitude of one 
for t is equal to 0 and it will be 0 elsewhere. So, as you can see over here, this is in continuous time. So, if I have to represent this in uh, discrete time, how can I represent? Very simple is that this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, right? And this is simple. Okay. Let me just change the color. And this is amplitude or y axis and this is x axis. Okay. And this is in discrete time. <coughs> if I have to write equation for that, it will be x of n will be 1 if n is equal to 0 and x of n will be 0 elsewhere. Okay. So, the difference between these two is that understand this there is an arrow over here whenever there is an arrow uh, we generally what we do is that uh, we uh, write arrow uh, for continuous time and generally what we do is that we put a dot like this like this whenever it is discrete time. Okay. So, I hope that it is understood what is uh, those who understood uh, the impulse response please raise your hand uh, i just wanted to confirm it if you are not understood be frank okay so i'm not going to uh, shout on you or something like that If you are not understood, you can directly you can ask me um, uh, repeat. I will repeat it again. So you don't have to worry about it. Sip thirty six logon ko samaj mein aaye thirty seven forty. Okay, thank you everyone. <coughs> okay, so there should be a question in your mind. Uh, I had uh, now don't raise your hand, I have lowered all the hands. Okay, so you don't have to worry about lowering hands. Okay, uh, so there should be a question is that. Zero pay Q impulse aega na. Mujhe suppose you know, raat ke bara impulse, bara baje impulse aata hai. Isa nahi na ki ye hai birthday hai aur bara baje impulse aaya birthday celebrate kiya aur so gaya. Isa kuch hota nahi na. Okay, it's not a celebration of birthday, right? So it might happen that some signal might get impulse at one o'clock. Some might get at two o'clock, right? Some might get at eleven in night. So that means that that means that uh, let me just show you over here only. So what about if an impulse is over here or impulse is over here? How to represent it? Right? How I can represent it? Okay. So understand this. Um, impulse signal we generally represent it as del of n whenever i am writing a del of n it means that its value will be a 1 at n is equal to 0 and it will be 0 elsewhere okay but what about these two uh, the representation of these two is very easy 
that x of x of n will be 1 at n is equal to 1 and it will be 0 elsewhere or so I will write here for not getting confused x1 I will write here x2 of n will be 1 for n is equal to uh, minus 1 and it will be 0 elsewhere right but what about I had told you that impulse is uh, represented by del of n and it will be always it will be 1 at n is equal to 0 it will be 0 and it will be 0 elsewhere right so how to represent that okay so if I have to represent this signal that is x1 of n right if I if I to draw this how it will look like this is a 0 uh, this is 1 here it's 2 this is minus 1 and minus 2 how I will represent this is that I will represent something like this right but how I will represent in terms of del of n because my del of n <coughs> is a generalized signal which will I will imply for impulse but it will be always 1 at n is equal to 0 and it will be 0 at uh, elsewhere. So, how I will represent x1 of n in terms of del of n and that is my question. Can anyone help me how I can represent it? I hope you got my question. Yes, sir. Uh, can we write del of n is equal to 1 at n minus 1? No, uh, because uh, del of n is always 1 at n is equal to 0. Are you getting my point, Anil? Always. Yes, sir. Yes. Always it is uh, going to be 1 at n is equal to 0. Okay. Whenever I am writing del of n, what does it mean? Is that it is going to be 1 at n is equal to 0. Understand one thing is that. Uh, I'm not asking you this question uh, just to check uh, what you understood or something like that I'm asking you this question just to make you think I do not expect a right answer from you I expect a thinking process from you yes anyone Swaraj Tejas Madhura Kostu. Sir, question repeat kijiye na. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so, question is, my question is that, understand this. Humne kya pada abhi tak, ki impulse kya hota hai, ki jab n is equal to 0, at that time, it will have a amplitude 1. Right? Lekin mene bola, aisa ho sakta hai ki, do you have any control on the signal? Impulse kabhi bhi aa sakta hai, 1 pe bhi aa sakta hai, minus 1 pe bhi aa sakta hai, 2 pe bhi aa sakta hai, minus 3 pe bhi aa sakta hai, right? anywhere it can come <coughs> but I represent del of n such that it will have always it will have value 1 at n is equal to 0 and it will have the value 0 elsewhere now understand this is that samaj lo ye cheez ki mera impulse jo hai 1 pe aara hai that is x1 jo hai uska impulse kis pe aara Konse value pe hai, n is equal to 1. So, how I will represent x1 in terms of del of n? I hope I try to make the question simple. Right? x of 1, x of x1 of n has a value of 1 at n is equal to 1 and it has the value 0 elsewhere. So, this is the thing. Right? Let me just highlight it. This is my x1 of n and this is my del of n. I have to represent x of n 
x1 of n in terms of del of n so what kind of changes i have to make that is my question can i make this as minus minus uh, uh, del of n minus 1 this is the thinking process i want from you guys okay so i just let me draw the del of n for you okay at 0 it will be 1 okay let me draw x1 of n for you okay it will be 1 at this one so del of n is equal to 1 at n is equal to 0 and it is 0 elsewhere x1 of n is equal to 1 at n is equal to uh 1 1 and it is equal to 0 as well okay so can i write x1 of n is equal to minus del of n can i do this yes no that's it no sir no right why because if i write something like this because its value is 1 so it will become minus 1 so at 0 let me draw this if i do like this what will happen So this is zero, right? This is one. This is two. This is three. Minus one, minus two. Okay. So what will happen if I do something like that? <coughs> It will be minus one, right? And that will be a wrong one, right? So can I write uh, x one of n is equal to One, one minus del of n. Can I do something like this? Yes, no. That's I'm asking. I'm not asking that. Um, what do you think or something like that? Can I do something like this? One minus del of n minus one. What do you think? Can I do that? No, sir. No, right? Because it will be zero. Zero. it will be zero so this also i cannot do what i can do is that i can delay the signal right so i may what i need to do is that mujhe kya karna hai usko ek se usko actually shift karna hai right mein barabar hai del of n ko ek se mujhe right mein shift karna hai mujhe kya karna hai actually This is zero. This is one. This is two. Minus one. Minus two. Right. This is my signal. This is my del of n. Right. मुझे क्या करना है उसको मुझे delay करना है. Right. जो भी time होगा वो मैं एक से कम गिनूँगा. कम गिनूँगा मतलब क्या करूँगा? Time को ही मैं उसको एक से कम गिन रहा हूँ. I am delaying it. I am writing del of n minus one, right? So what will happen in this case? I am delaying it, right? So del of n will be over here instead of being over here, right? And now I can write x of x one of n as del of n minus one. Understand this? Its amplitude. is remaining as is it is that is 1 i hope i am clear now any question yes sir right uh, no. now you tell me that how i can represent x2 of n now x2 of n what was x2 of n here this was x2 of n right right this was x2 of n so how i represented x2 of n at minus 1 there was 
and impulse this is one this is two this is minus two this will go over here so tell me how i will represent x2 of n in terms of del of n del of n plus one n plus one <coughs> exactly right so if i want to d if i want to advance uh, if i want to delay i will actually this is delayed signal right and this is advanced why it is delayed because ek minute ke baad aa raha hu ya fir 1 second ke baad aa raha hai therefore it is delayed why it is advanced arrival time was supposed to be at 0 but it is arriving at minus 1 so it is coming early right and therefore there is a plus it is delayed and therefore this is minus i hope i am clear yes sir right yes sir okay so uh, if any question if you want me to repeat uh, just raise your hand i will repeat don't worry if anyone have not understood if anyone want me to repeat it please raise your hand i will repeat okay so what sir is it yes kuch nahi sir is slide dikhne de bas So okay so what uh, just i will repeat in very brief time uh, what we started with is that what is the impulse right at zero uh, there will be uh, there will be the uh, at zero there will be an amplitude of one right and uh, <coughs> that amplitude uh, if i want to change instead of from zero to one or 0 to minus 1 what we need to do that we have discussed always we represent the impulse in terms of del of n okay del of n this is for discrete time okay this is for discrete time i represent at uh, like this okay so if i want if i have two samples i had taken x1 and x2 that i had represented like this if i want to if i want to delay it what i'll do is that del of n minus 1 if i want to advance it i will write it uh, right n plus 1 del of n plus 1 so it will be advance okay so if i want a uh, signal something like this so this is n is equal to minus 2 this is minus 1 0 so on what i'll do is that i will write this as n minus 2 okay so for n plus 2 oh uh, sorry n plus 2 exactly right n plus 2 okay so it will be n plus 2 right so this is in continuous time similarly i can do this in discrete uh, sorry this is in discrete time uh, similarly i can do it in the uh, continuous time right so this is a del of t okay why t because this is an continuous time and because this was a discrete time and this is continuous time okay so if i want to delay by one that is if the signal i want as 1 2 1 2 if i want to delay it by one then it will be del of t minus 1 if i want to advance it that is 0 minus 1 minus 2 here is minus 2 if i want to advance it or here it will be del of t plus 1 
okay and this is representation in continuous time i hope i am clear now yes, yes sir okay yes sir <coughs> understand this uh, as it is continuous one so it can be it can take the value of 0.001 also not uh, that it has to uh, shift by 1 okay so that that means a signal can be over here also understand this anywhere between 0 to 1 it can appear like this i hope i'm clear okay so this is first signal second signal is so slide dikhe hai us okay so this was the case okay so anywhere in this region it can appear not only like this okay this was represented by this this can be del of t plus 001 okay so let me just draw an arrow over here okay so this signal will be this one so continuously anywhere it can actually we can delay by the any portion but here in discrete time understand that we are talking about n n is sample number right and sample number always will be either it will be 0 it will be 1 it will be 2 it will be minus 1 minus 2 right it is a number it is a whole number right so it cannot be 1.2 it cannot be something like this in the discrete time but in the continuous time it can be something like this i hope i am clear okay so just let me shift to next signal that is the step response or a step signal okay <coughs> so what is the step signal if i take the example of uh, continuous time okay so it will be say 0 uh, 1 2 3 and so on minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on okay what is the step signal for t less than 0 for t less than 0 x of t will be 0 whereas for t greater than or equal to 0 it will be 1 okay so how it will be looking like it will look like this at 0 it will take value 1 just let me erase unnecessary part Oh, oh so sorry it will be something like this okay and this is called as a step why it is because it looks like a step right step ki jaise dikh raha hai right and therefore this is called as a step signal i hope i am clear yes sir okay so this is called as a step signal how i write this equation of this i represent this as u of t and u of t will be always uh, zero for t less than zero and u of t will be always equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to zero okay so understand this this is u of t always now if i have to represent this in discrete time how i will represent can anyone help me 
because this is little little bit tricky not difficult one a little bit tricky can anyone help me how i need to represent this was continuous time and this, uh, i have to represent in the discrete time can anyone help me how it will look like yes now uh, let me just have one more tricky part over here which will clear out the things understand this there were impulses right impulse signal we had seen so in in fact uh, uh, step signal is nothing but uh, it is nothing but the continuous impulses okay even though there is a gap in between these also are filled with the impulses these are impulses okay so in fact this is an integration of uh, del of e minus n where n goes from say uh, 0 to infinity okay so if i do the addition of all the impulses okay i get a step response uh, i hope i made it clear okay step impulses is nothing but a delayed version of the uh, impulse responses added together uh, am I making sense? Yes, no, or I have confused you. <coughs> okay, kya kya mene idhar? Safe, delayed uh, impulses liya, usko mene add kya, then I will get this kind of the step in response. And now you tell me that how it will look like if I have the discrete time. So we can plot uh, zero and uh, onwards zero uh, impulse. Impulse. Uh, discrete time. Right. Discrete. Yes. Plot. Karunga. So I'll draw it yes. something like that. Can I draw over here? Impulse. No, sir. No. no. Right. Then that's what I wanted you to understand. Okay. Or this case, I have confused you a little bit. Confused. Right. With this diagram. Right. Here you understand this. This is continuous. Continuous impulses, right? Because I am continuous time. Me, who? Either not. This will not happen. It will not happen over here. What will happen over here is that at one I will have another impulse. Okay. At two I will have another impulse. At three I will have another impulse. This is discrete one. At zero, one, two, three, it will happen something like this. Okay. And this is represented by u of n and u of n will have value 1 for n is greater than or equal to 0 and it will have value 0 for n less than 0 right so this is the discrete time and in continuous time it will be um, u of t is equal to 1 for t for t greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 for t less than 0. I hope I am clear. Yes sir. Any question about this? So this was in the discrete time. Okay. Let me plot a very good diagram of continuous time. 0, 1, 2, 1 minus 2 understand this why I uh, write something like this because I cannot draw the infinite uh, step response over here and this is u of t okay so u of t is going to be equal to 1 for uh, t greater than or equal to 0 and it is going to be 0 for t less than 0 
<coughs> again same question will be there it is not the case that a step will be taken at 0 step can be taken at can be taken at 1 right something like this how I will represent this what will be the equation of this in terms of u can anyone help me it is obviously t okay uh, this is continuous time so it is t can anyone can anyone tell me what will be the equation for this delayed one so if I delay a signal what will be the equation T minus one. Yes. T no, minus one at T minus one. T minus one, right? And if the signal is advanced, right? So if that means it is starting with the minus one, then equation is going to be U of T plus one. Right? Similar thing will happen if it is the discrete time. right this is 0 this is 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 if uh, impulse is starting from from over here then it will be u of n minus 1 and if uh, impulse is starting from over here that is minus 1 0 one two three this is minus two at that time it will be u of n plus one am i right so this is in the discrete time and this was in the continuous time i hope i am clear yes sir okay so this is continuous time and a uh, discrete time okay then we need to see the exponential signals okay so before that let me take your attendance first last one slide skip this one yes yes sir. Uh, let me take your attendance and then uh, we will start with this okay so I hope you are drawn this uh, can I, stop ah, can I stop sharing? So. Okay. So this is the yesterday's at attendance. If anyone has marked uh, absent uh, by mistake, please uh, correct me. Okay. Roll number one. Uh, Present. Prerna. Then uh, Ritesh. Present, sir. Uh, Ani Ankit. Present, sir. Shubham. Present, sir. Suraj. Present, sir. Swaraj. Present, sir. Aditya. Janvi. Abhishek. Present, sir. Uh, Kedar. Present, sir. Uh, Swaminath. Present, sir. Sachin. Present, sir. Sraddha. Present, sir. Uh, Swapnil. Sarvesh. Kundan. Present, Kund sir. Okay. 
देवांश प्रेजेंट सर विशाल प्रेजेंट सर प्रशांत प्रेजेंट सर दुर्गा प्रेजेंट सर वैष्णवी प्रेजेंट सर आदित्य प्रेजेंट सर रुद्रराज प्रेजेंट सर पल्लवी प्रेजेंट सर साकेत प्रेजेंट सर अजिंक्य प्रेजेंट सर इंद्रजीत प्रेजेंट सर साहिल प्रेजेंट सर नीता प्रेजेंट सर शिवम प्रेजेंट सर चिन्मयी हितेश सपना प्रेजेंट सर सिद्धेश प्रेजेंट सर प्राजक्ता प्रेजेंट सर चैतन्य स्नेहल मयूरी प्रेजेंट सर मधुरा प्रेजेंट सर अनिकेत प्रेजेंट सर तेजस प्रेजेंट सर देवाशीष प्रेजेंट सर कुणाल प्रेजेंट सर रोहन प्रेजेंट सर कुणाल यू आर एबसेंट एस्टरडे कुणाल यस सर यू आर एबसेंट एस्टरडे नो सर रिया प्रेजेंट सर प्रथमेश प्रथमेश प्रेजेंट सर ओके अभय प्रेजेंट सर ओजस प्रेजेंट सर कुणाल प्रेजेंट सर कुणाल सोनगिरे प्रेजेंट सर स्वप्निल प्रेजेंट सर स्वप्निल प्रेजेंट सर कौस्तुभ प्रेजेंट सर शुभम प्रेजेंट सर प्रणय प्रणय तेजस प्रेजेंट सर पूजा प्रेजेंट सर रविंद्र सॉरी ऐश्वर्या प्रेजेंट सर यश प्रेजेंट सर मिताली तन्मय प्रेजेंट सर आदित्य प्रेजेंट सर कुणाल कुणाल पाटील ज्ञानता प्रेजेंट सर आर्य प्रेजेंट सर साक्षी आकाश प्रेजेंट सर आरती प्रेजेंट सर गणेशरी प्रेजेंट सर जानवी प्रेजेंट सर अनिल प्रेजेंट सर अनिल यू आर एबसेंट एस्टरडे फॉर द प्रैक्टिकल एंड द लेक्चर यस यू आर यू यू आर अंडर माय टीजी टीचर गार्डियन राइट so you have to report yes, you sir. have to call me uh, after your lecture okay okay sir uh, nikhil present sir uh, <coughs> sami present sir uh, premchand present sir and sneha present sir okay. if i have missed anyone's presentee 
or if you have missed to mark your presentee uh, you can put your roll number in the chat box okay let us start with uh, further agenda okay so sir we have yes yes uh, sir we have the next lecture okay okay so sorry uh, you can leave thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir